come down here, sir. I'd like you. Well, I'll just tell you what it says. The uh, guarantee joker in every deck of cards says if you have defective cards in your deck, you can send them back if they haven't been extensively used, and they'll be happy to return them. I uh, have found a way to actually repair defective cards, and I'll show you one by one. I have five defective cards in here. The first one right here is the five of diamonds. Now you can see this five of diamonds, all the pips are bunched up in the center, making it not usable for play. So all I have to use is centrifugal force. If I take the five and give it a little spin like this, it actually shoots all the diamonds back to their respective places so I can actually use it. That's card number one. Card number two is a little bit different. It's the uh, two of spades with the heart printed in the middle. Now that's a little odd, so we can't use that card. Um, what, but the actual heart came from the five of hearts which is actually missing the pip so if I take the card and put it face to face a little bit of pressure it now catches the heart off of the two that fixes two cards for one price that's three cards now the next card is the ten of diamonds this is a color mishap they printed it with black ink so now in order to fix this I have to use friction friction causes heat and heat causes the ten to become red hot and that fixes the ten of diamonds now the last card in the deck happens to be the four of clubs we fix the ten the four of clubs does not have the clubs bunched up in the middle they're a little bit off center so centrifugal force could not fix this problem now friction could not also fix this problem because the four of clubs happens to be black so all we have to do is move the pips one by one and how do I do this well what I do is I melt the ink and drag the pip all the way to where it's supposed to be that's the first pip right there okay the second pip is a little bit more difficult because I don't have to do much I just have to line it up just drag it over and it lines up with that pip right there and the last pip is the most difficult of all. All I have to do is drag it. And when I drag it, it goes all the way down to that correct place. Now that is five cards fixed, one by one for your viewing pleasure. You can see the ropes? Yeah. Okay. Now, what I have here is, uh, I have three different size ropes, okay? I have one short, one medium, and one small. Now, here's what happens. If, if I line up the ends like this, the medium, small, I can actually take these ropes and stretch them out until they're all the same size. Now that looks like they're all the same size because they are all the same size. That's the first one. It doesn't stretch and it doesn't shrink. That's the second one. It doesn't stretch and it doesn't shrink. And that's the third one. Doesn't stretch and doesn't shrink. Now if three ropes confuse you, I'll put one around my neck and that would leave us with, well, two ropes. If two ropes confuse you, we could just use one. Doesn't make a difference. How you doing, Jake? Smile for the camera. Alright, now, every single rope has two ends and a middle. If I take the middle, I can just blow on it and the ends would come off really weird. I'll stick these in my pocket for right now and that leaves me with just, well, I don't know what this is. Anyways, what I'll do is I'll just make a loop right here and squeeze it. I'll take the ends out of my pocket and all I have to do is just line them up like this and they melt right back onto the rope. It's really cool. Would you like to check it out? Yeah. Actually, what you're not seeing is you're not seeing the ends because if I rub one end on my left elbow like this, you can see it and rub this on my right elbow. Did you see anything disappear? Actually, the ends disappear. That's okay because I, uh, I keep a spare pair right here. I'll put these on in slow motion. If it works, you may applaud. You may applaud. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I know. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Now, you've actually seen me take off the ends, but have you ever seen me take off the middle? I don't think so. Let me see. That doesn't impress you, does it? Actually, well, there, how's that? Does that work for you? Anyways, I'll take the middle and put it on in slow motion. All I have to do is thread it through the ends all the way up around my fist like this, 
All I have to do is take one end and let it fall, and I have my same piece of rope back. It's really cool how it works. Now, I don't know if you remember, in the beginning of this routine, I had two ropes. So all I have to do is take my magic scissors and cut, and now I have, well, two ropes. Actually, in the beginning of the routine, I had three ropes. But here's the other one that's been on my neck. Actually, they weren't all the same size, though. I had one long one, so I want you to imagine that this one's long. I have one medium one, I want you to imagine that this one's medium. And I have one small one, I wanted you to imagine that this one's very small. Well, it's kind of hard to imagine things when you can't really see it. So if you imagine long enough, if I just do that, now I have one very long rope. I have one very medium rope. And one very small rope. I got a deck of cards here. Now, uh, when, when somebody gives you a deck of cards like this, you don't know what you're getting. I wanted you to know exactly what you're getting, because uh, it's a deck of cards. You should know exactly what you're getting. Now, uh, you can have any cards you want, uh, except for the Joker, because the Joker isn't actually a card. Uh, don't, don't even take one. Just As I go along, just name one. Uh, two of Hearts. There it is, right there. Would you like? Would you like to change your mind, sir? No, I'm good. You're happy with the two. Okay. Now this is what I'm gonna try. Now I'm gonna place the two next to this Joker, and from the time it leaves the deck and ends up over here, it's gonna be twice as big as the rest of the cards. Check it out. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And now it's twice as big as the rest of the cards. Come on in. Take a look. Now, if that wasn't impressive enough, I'd like to try it again. I'm going to take this two and place it next to this jack of clubs right here, okay? Now, all I have to do is just give the deck a squeeze like this, and now the two is actually half as big as the rest of the cards. And as you can see right there, it's half as big as the rest of the cards. Now, there's only one way I can actually fix this, and that would be to actually stretch the two out. So if I just hold it by the corner like this, I can actually stretch the two out, and that brings the deck back to normal. 